It's Mission 101, I'm Mario Golden here with Matt, and we're going to be doing the Kimura from Side Control. So we have Matt down here, Side Control. We're going to have a, both of our arms in, and what I'm going to do is I have one hand on either side of this arm. I have both of my knees in, I have chest pressure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hand here, I'm going to be grabbing on to his wrist, I'm going to be pushing it down to the mat. There are times where he can hold on to his belt and to the material, but for now, what we're going to do is we're just simply going to uh, ignore that. I'm just going to show you the actual move here and how to get it. So, secure this hand to the mat. Take the other hand, grab on to your wrist. A lot of people make the mistake of simply trying to just turn sideways and try to push it here. You never want to do that because you don't have uh, anything holding him down. If he's very strong, he can simply roll into you and you've lost the position. The whole key to the Kimura from the side control position is stepping over his head. And what I like to do is I'll secure this nice and strong and I'm going to shift my hips and I'm going to take this leg and it's going to come into his armpit. Now from there I step over his head and then I can simply lean back a little. I'm going to push his arm behind me in that direction. Secure. So what I like to do is I like to put my elbow next to his hip because he might try to push his arm back into his body to grab something. This will secure it. Hand underneath, grabbing onto the wrist. I'm going to shift my hips, kicking that knee in, and down. Now when I kick over this other leg, I don't go high. I'm going to go very low. So I kick over his uh, where his elbow would be, so this arm crosses over his face. Notice my, my foot is flat on the mat. Now I'm going to be lifting him up and pushing to get the tap there. So side control position, I'm going to secure the arm. Switching of the hips, super important. Right there, so it's almost like a scissor, almost like a case of a or scarf hold. Now I'm going to kick over getting my foot flat on the mat, right next to his head. I'm going to lean up, and I'm going to push his arm in that direction to get the tap. Now there's one slight variation I'm going to show you. i just add to this, just go down one more time. And it's actually to attack this arm. I push down, I kick. Now as I try to go over, every time I do it, he's very strong, and I can't seem to kick over. So what I want to do is make sure that this is super tight. This bottom leg is super tight underneath his shoulder. When I do that, I'm going to position my body and turn it. So I'm going to neglect this arm now because I'm having trouble stepping over. So now what I have to do is I turn, I look at his hand, I come up in tight. You'll notice his arm is right between my leg and my torso. This turns into a straight arm lock. So again, try to go for the Kimura. I turn, he's blocking, so I go flat. It's almost going north-south. I step over, pinching together, straight arm lock. So there are always options, just like chess. You have to go from one move to the next.